Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about what's the Bayes theorem equation if the concept of total probability involved. So in our previous classes, we clearly discussed about Bayes theorem and total probability. Please watch those classes and come back here. This is what the actual Bayes theorem equation formula we have to dis discuss. In order to make you understand, previously we have discussed about what's Bayes theorem and total prob probability with examples individually for better understanding. Please watch those classes. Come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. First, we are going to understand an example. Along with this example, we are going to understand the definition of Bayes theorem with the total probability concept. In a bolt factory, there is a factory which it is going to create bolts. Machine A, B, C, three machines are there, are having a manufacturer. A is contributing 20% of the bolts in the market. B is contributing 30% of the bolts. C is contributing 50% of the bolts. What's the meaning of this? In the market, if you buy a bolt, 20% are from manufacturing machine A, 30% from B and 50% from, from C. This is what our actual data says. A, B, C output 6% of 3% and 2% defective. Means out of the manufacturing unit from machine A, 6% of the bolts are defective bolts. From B, 3% are defective bolts. From C, 2% are defective bolts. So a bolt is drawn at random and found that it is defective. In the market, if you go into the market and if you pick a bolt, what is the probability and found that it is a defective bolt? So find the probability that bolt is from machine A. This is what they are going to ask. Probability of A if it is defective. This can, this can be given using Bayes theorem equation. How, how we are going to give? Let's try to understand. From the manufacturing unit, it was already given that probability of A is 20% it is going to contribute to the market. That means 20 by 100. Probability of B is 30 by 100. Probability of C is 50 by 100. And probability of defective from A. If it is given that it is manufactured from A, it was given that probability of defective is 6%, 6 by 100. Probability of defective if it is from B. 3 by 100 probability of defective if it is from C is 2 by 100 these values are already provided then what we have to identify probability of A given D you know previous class in the Bayes theorem we clearly discussed that probability of A given D can be identified using by substituting probability of D given A so this is the equation we get probability of D given A probability of A by probability of D D means defective here. A means machine A, machine B, machine C. Probability that from machine A, if you pick a defective bolt, that is what the meaning of this. Probability that it is from machine A, if you pick a, if it was already said that it is a defective item, defective bolt. This can be given as probability of her. Now you have to understand this is the Bayes theorem which we discussed in our previous class. Here probability of D defective completely dependent on total probability. In the market if you go into the market and if you pick a bolt and you say you observe that it is a defective bolt. That defective bolt the probability that you are going to pick a defective bolt is dependent on total probability because in the back end it is coming from three different machines. So probability it is going to be defective depends on the total probability that is what the concept of total probability. So this can be written as probability of D given A probability of A or probability of D defective from B multiplied by probability of B or plus probability of defective from C if it is from C and multiplied by probability of C. This is the equation from total probability. Now our Bayes theorem equation is probability of A given D is given as this is what our final equation. This is the actual Bayes theorem equation we have to discuss. But initially if you discuss this we don't understand that's why we divided it into two parts total probability and Bayes theorem then finally the equation. This is 
this case if you substitute the values we will get 12 by 31 uh, now understand the definition of Bayes theorem if e1 e2 en are mutually disjoint events uh, in our example these events are that uh, machines a b c these are mutually exclusive events uh, if you if you take a product if you take a bolt from the market uh, it may be from uh, a machine a it may be from machine b it may be from machine c these are mutually exclusive events uh, then probability of e1 uh, so you see if e1 e2 en are mutually disjoint events probability of e i not equal to zero for each i if this is happened see probability of e is not equal to zero it should be happen if it is zero it, it won't work an arbitrary event d which is subset of uh, from this events uh, d means here defective item uh, which is subset of from this events means it may be from a machine a it may be from machine b subset of uh, that's why if you if this is the case uh, then probability of e i given it's not a here d defective means probability of e i given d equal to probability of e i multiplied by probability of d given e i divided by total probability means sigma i is equal to 1 to n in our example we are having three machines if you are having n machines total probability is like this this is what the base equation it is not a here you should write it as probability that it is going from machine a given it is defective that is the example which we have discussed here machine a is given as a e1 e2 e3 so on n machines are there so that's why ei probability that is t is from ei if it is defective can be given with this equation hope you understand the concept of uh, Bayes theorem with uh, total probability if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you